These days, the humans possess a great degree of mobility. Yet, technological progress is also bringing about ecological and social change. Improved living conditions and advances in medicine are continuously increasing our life expectancy. However, this is often accompanied by increasing deterioration of motor skills and cognitive faculties. Modern care homes use a variety of therapies to at least delay these processes. Horticultural therapy is a good method for positively influencing in many ways the lives of those affected. Therapy project was launched in February 2012 and will end in August 2014. It is the first horticulture therapy project that brings together partners from Austria and the Czech Republic. Two of the Austrian project partners are Nature in the Garden and the University of Agricultural and Environmental Education. Among the Czech partners are the Lipka Association, Chaluki, the Masaryk University Faculty of Medicine and the Nursing Home in Prahadice. Das Ziel des Projektes ist, die Bevölkerung of the project is to raise awareness of horticultural therapy among the general population and foster the cross-border exchange of knowledge. In the course of the ATC Horticulture Therapy Project, we were able to plan and launch the Senior Action Days. We visited a total of 10 different state-run cure homes in Lower Austria. An additional 8 cure homes came to see us at the Garden Tour. Thanks to funding from the European Union, we were able to make the short video during the course of the Horticultural Therapy Project. We were able to write and produce three publications, Horticultural Therapy, Theory, Science and Practice, Horticultural Therapy and Seniors, and Horticultural Therapy and Children. Die Gartentherapie ist ein wunderbares Mittel, das die Heimbewohner untereinander auch miteinander wieder. Horticulture therapy is a wonderful tool for helping care home residents to engage in conversations with each other again. It is often the case that people living on different floors don't know each other very well at all. Plants provide a way for people to connect with each other again. It is a good way to improve grass and fine motor skills. Therapists can also use plants to work with people with impaired mobility, engaging their senses of smell and touch. Horticultural therapy can also be used when working with children, particularly when working with children suffering from psychological problems or hyperactivity, some very good results can be achieved. It has to be said that horticultural therapy is not a substitute for ergotherapy or psychotherapy, but it can be used as a wonderful complementary therapy. Um in den Landespflegeheimen als Bewohner und Bewohnerin aufgenommen zu werden. In order to be accepted as a resident for a state-run care home, a person must meet care level 4 criteria. These include clearly discernible physical or mental impairments. The number of people with impaired mobility and dementia has increased considerably. This also greatly limits the residents in their activity levels. Their involvement in horticultural therapy makes it easier for residents to open up to others on a personal level. By remembering their own garden or the work they used to do in gardens, fields or vineyards, the residents feel needed. Through questions about their individual work, their self-confidence is boosted. When they complete the work, they are also often amazed and proud of what they have achieved despite their previous negative expectations. The close contact with nature and its cycles 
also helps to keep the residents in touch with the rhythm of the season. Wir müssen uns jetzt überlegen, welche Blumen wir wo eine setzen. Ja. Wir haben Blumen, die in Tee wachsen, wir haben Blumen, die so abgewachsen sind, ja. so hängen. Ja. Sie kennen sie offensichtlich aus. Jetzt ist die Frage, wo wir was eine setzen, sollen wir schön bunt machen, ja. sollen wir ein bisschen schauen, dass wir es gleich machen, ja. Ja. wie es ja. ihnen lieber ist. Ja. Bitte. Ja. Today we showed the residents how they can help shape the exterior space of the home. We planted attractive, colorful flowers in a flower box. We also planted herbs, which you can use in the kitchen, and strawberries in raised bed, which the residents can pick to snack on in passing. For the purposes of horticulture therapy, it is important that the residents have encountered the plants in the past, as these then evoke positive memories. A raised bed stimulates residents to go outside. It gives them pleasure and encouragement for some outdoor activity. Today, we will offer the seniors a range of horticulture therapy related exercises. It has probably been quite a while since many of them last got to dig in the soil. This is something we want to remedy today. We will be planting in plant troughs and flower beds and will also be planting out potatoes. Dafür kriegst du dann noch ein Blümchen von mir. Sie sind eh bestechlich, oder? Ja. Ja. Noch einen zweiten Erdäpfel. Mit. Genau. Dass wir ganz viele Erdäpfel kriegen. Und jetzt wieder Erde drüber schauen. Genau. Und jetzt stellen wir es irgendwo in die Wiesen und du musst nur ein bisschen eingehen. In the life story work, we will use individual elements to evoke memories for some seniors' long-term memory. For example, these elements can also take the form of flowers as used in horticultural therapy. Seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing and touching plants creates a link to the past, to celebrations the senior attended such as weddings or birthdays, to successful harvests or to gardening with their grandparents. Such memories activate resources which lead to conversations and actions. Here at the Garden Tulln, we have different therapy gardens. Here at the Garden Tulln, we have assembled various elements of therapeutic garden. This now raises the question, as to why such facilities are needed in the garden intended for public display. We have tried to work together with skilled practitioners, 
such as residents or care workers, to develop a concept to display elements, which can also have a health promoting function within the garden. There are two areas here, active therapy in the form of raised beds or plants with which the seniors work and passive therapy where one explores the garden by enjoying, feeling, tasting and smelling it. In addition, we offer a consultation service. We hold workshops on the topic, which also take place in our gardens and where we can use our long-standing experience to provide useful advice. At last, we can reap what once we sowed. That is what is so valuable about therapeutic gardening. Working with nature stimulates all senses.